and, and for anyone, like Stephen, we met, we were both giving keynotes at this event and you were giving yours two years in a row on Brandy. Like right. you've done such a great job of that. I would say that's probably definitely one of your entrepreneurial like superpowers as sure. far as that goes. Yeah. <laughs> so you kind of had your own brand, but it was like CrossFit, this constantly varied functional movements, this barbell thing. That's what your people like. So it's like, well, why do it? Like the th for you to pay three grand a year is no skin off your back. Mm -hmm. But it's like COVID, you're in the PNW, a little bit more progressive. The whole Glassman thing pissed people off pretty significantly in yeah. your gym especially. Could we say that COVID was probably one of the better things that happened to your business model? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. It's been the worst thing that's happened to us, but the best thing that's happened to us. For us, we've always sort of embraced this ideology that, you know, crisis can be a good thing because it forces you to do the unthinkable. Yeah. And it's the unthinkable that can take you to a whole new level of performance, to much greener pastures than what you ever thought possible. You know, there's so many different examples that we can draw from. For most gyms that got hit with COVID, I mean, it was devastating for all of us. But you know, I think that a lot of people just said, we're just going to close and we'll reopen when we can reopen. But we viewed it as an opportunity rather than to you know, sort of get down in the dumps and panic and stuff like that. We just, we got to work on how we can create a better experience for our customers, use the closure to our advantage. This place moves quick. Industrious has always been a busy, vibrant place. We have tons of classes. There's never enough time to get all the stuff done. And we took that as an opportunity to get strategic and think about, okay, what are all of the things that we're doing right now that are really, really good? And how can we improve the operation in general to make it even better, to make it more efficient. The old system was so inefficient. It was a 60 minute class, two modules, strength, then we'll just call it CrossFit. It took 60 minutes to get through it because all of the lost time of having to go get People your People going to get the barbell, bringing it back, and we're switching out and put your rowers with that whole thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. In, in organizing the room, and then at the end of the night, you have to reset the table in a different way for your customers that are coming in the next day. And so the staff is there till really, really late. You know, So we just looked at all of these things that were inefficient, and we said, let's make it really, really efficient. But let's make it efficient and also at the same time deliver a better experience for what everybody wants here, which is a great group class experience in something that's consistent every day that they can rely on. 